Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the free Unity assets for September, October 2023. And do remember there's over 70 different assets, whether that's models, textures, gameplay improvements, editor extensions, and so much more. And do remember all these assets could be used in Unreal Engine or Godot. And do check out the Unity Assets store because it's 50% off a load of new assets that have just launched on the store. Do check out the free asset, which is currently on the Unity Assets store at the moment, and I'll have all the rest of the savings because there's a massive Cinti sale on Unhumble and other places and I'll put all the links below so you never miss out. And do be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 200 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out all my great assets on my website because you can save between 20 and 40% compared to buying on the Unity Asset Store. So we have the first asset which is called Soft 2D for Unity, which is a multi-material physics engine designed for real-time applications. This is fully structured and available on GitHub too, and it allows you to do specific 2D physics, whether that's to have water or other physics-based gameplay when you see those sort of stylistic mobile games, where the water flows down or you've got to do little puzzles, it might be a great way to get you started. The next one is something called U-Modeler X, and it's from the same guys that released the original U-Modeler, which is a really popular 3D modeling application that you can use within Unity. So you can model like you're in Blender, 3ds Max, or Maya, but you can do it all in Unity. And this is fully integrated with AI, so you can model, rig, paint, and use AI textures directly inside Unity and it has a whole load of features for UV mapping, auto rigging, 3D painting and loads of stuff. The next one is something called the flying system. So this is components for simulating flying behavior with specific six types of flying systems, whether that's helicopters, aircraft, flying vehicles, humanoids type of aircraft, gliders. It includes other third person controllers like a duck, an eagle, a dragon, a jet, a helicopter, and loads and loads and loads and loads of awesome quality content in there. A cool little one is something called Editor Memo, and this allows you to post any text or anything to create little notes in the Unity Editor. So you can just use this, create a label of any type, create little memos and labels, then away you go. The next one is something called the URP Toon Shader, and this is a specific cartoon shader made from the shader graph. This supports normal maps, emission maps, and more. You can adjust things like the paintbrush style, strokes, and angle, the hair, and how metallic things will look. Specular noise, extra bands, tune cutoffs, shadows, and loads of loads of parameters. The next one is the Robot Kyle for URP, and this was Unity's old style character, which has been brought up for URP specifically supported for XR and multi-platform projects, really for prototyping, and it's a really simple third-person character controller that might get you started. The next one is the All Platforms Saved version 2, which is actually from their bigger package, which is the Mobile Tools Pack, which you can find in the description, which is a whole host of mobile development tools. This specifically isn't just for that, but this allows you to easily save in player prefs, external files, or strings, or even then upload those to an external server supported on all platforms for Unity and supports multiple save files. Next one by the same guys is the Easy Achievements and Leaderboards version 2. As it suggests, you can submit achievements and scores with very minimal setup. It's supported across Android and iOS and it supports SDKs for iOS and Android and loads of cool features in there. The next one, which I assume has gone free very recently, is the HD Glass Pack. This is only suitable for the built-in render pipeline, but it supports all versions of Unity with nine high quality glass models with refraction support, without any support, and 10 high quality pottery models for changing this up. Next one on the theme of mobiles is the simple Android notifications free. So this provides you a selection of nice notifications, which you can use from the API to create local style notifications with loads of preloaded icons, custom icons, sounds, vibrations, lights, and loads of ways that you can actually integrate this into the Android platform. The next one, which is a popular asset, which has been around for a while, which is the simple FX cartoon particles, which has been updated very, very recently from Cinti contains a variety of particle systems in a stylistic world, whether that's blood splatter, dirt splatters, dust, explosions, fire, flamethrowers, smoke, and many, many more. And the next one from Cinti is the Simple Sky Cartoon Assets, which has a selection of Simple Sky Assets, and you can adjust this moon, stars, and the clouds. Next one is something called Hierarchy Simple Icons, and this allows you to add really nice little icons to the hierarchy window. You might have empty game objects with act as folders, 
and there's a, just a nice visual way to display them. Next one called Mobile Water Shader is one that's been updated very recently too and it's a custom built water shader for mobile which includes cube maps, reflections, of foam and lots of control for customization and it's crafted specifically for the built-in Fender pipeline for mobile devices to be very efficient. And the last one here is something that people might find useful is called the Debug Inspector. And this is a way to take all the debugs that appear in your scripts and be able to cycle through them in a nice little interface and then be able to change those on the fly without opening your script and navigating to points where you might already have them just so then you can get to debugging more quickly. So do be sure to check out all these assets and the rest of the assets that are available for this month. I'll put all the links down in the description for you to check them out. Do let me know which ones are your favorites and be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales for this month, the massive Cinti bundle on the Humble store, all the savings on the Unity Asset Store and everything else that I've found for you. Do check out my Patreon to get over 200 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And also check out my website to get between 20 and 40% off compared to what you would pay on the Asset Store for my assets. So thank you to all my patrons and a big thank you to Peter Steiner for supporting and thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.